What's up everyone? My name is Daniel and in so many words, welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we finished up the Rocket Radio Saga by defeating the interim Rocket Boss and saving Pokemon nationwide. And now we're going to head east here from Mahogany Town, if I can figure out how words work. And we're going to head to Blackthorn City, but I believe we have at least one dungeon to get through first, so... And a couple of trainers, no doubt. Go ahead and see what we got up with this guy. Again, great with words. Psychic Phil wants to battle. Starting out with a Natu. Level 24. No, I'm going to see if I can get this. Oh, almost one. As long as I don't have Hercules out here in two turns, it should be fine. Uh, next up, Kadabra. Definitely not keeping him out there for that. Uh, Zuko. Ah, uh, about two thirds. Oof. Uh, Alright, that didn't do much. I was worried there for a second. And that should take care of Kadabra. Yep. Nice. Zuko grew to level 33. Should probably heal after this. Oh, getting a call from Mom. Yep, she bought some with her money. Hey, you know what? Let me run back to the Pokemon Center real quick. Cause I want uh, I want to see what that is. This will give me a chance to heal without having to use any of my super potions. But let me do that real quick. Do 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 do. Alright, let's see what Mom bought. Actually, I don't think I've checked the PC for the last couple things she's bought. So let's see. Withdraw. Uh, there's all my Apricorns. Oh, she bought a Moonstone! Sad thing is I don't have any Pokemon that can evolve with a Moonstone, so... Kind of a useless purchase. I don't know where the hell she's buying a Moonstone. I don't know, I guess if I ever have a Nidorino or a Nidorina, I could use it on that. Get on my bikes to get around Route 44 a little bit easier here. Alright, what's this? The burnt berry. And a max repel, cool. Now that's probably a Fisher, so let me switch to James. Yep, this is definitely a Fisher. All right, we're taking on Fisher Edgar. Starting out with a Remoraid. One of the weirdest cases of Pokemon evolution in the entire series. Because Remoraid is a fish that evolves into an octopus. Yeah, it's just one of those things that just does not make sense. Even by Pokemon standards, that does not make sense. I really don't get how a fish evolves into an octopus. Like, what? Anyway, it should be a pretty easy level up for James here. Yep. There we go. Defeated Fisher Edgar. How is it not right? You had two Pokemon that were fairly weak. Mom! Quit buying shit with my money! Fuck's sake, woman. Let's battle this Fisher now. What am I going to do about it? I'm going to battle you. I mean, what'd you expect from me, Fisher Wilton? I was going to sit here and help you recatch that Poliwag? Because that's not going to happen. It's kind of going to interfere in my collection of badges. 
which is sort of my number one priority right now. I mean, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but I want to accomplish something. In the meantime, I'll just continue plowing through your goldines. Oh, you got a Sea King. This might present an issue. Ah, a little over half. Crap. That is not what I needed. I do not need to be confused. Come on, power through. Damn. Ugh. All right, that didn't do much. Right, come on, James. Power through. There you go. Ooh, nice. James grew level 29. Very cool. Yeah, I will forget about it. I'll forget, uh, I'll forget about you if I can ever talk. All right, this guy's just... This guy's just a little bit creepy. Pokemaniac Zack was a Rhyhorn. Hey, come on, James, you can take this. Yeah, there was a critical that might have mattered. But screw it, I'll take it. <laughs> there goes Pokemaniac Zack. Hey, you stay away from my Pokemon, weirdo. Another Ultra Ball. Nice. Hey, anyone else? Yeah, there's two more people down here, so let me battle them. I'm guessing a Cool Trainer? Yep. Yeah, the Cool Trainer, the uh, predecessor to the Ace Trainers of later generations. Anyway, Cool Trader Sybil is starting out with a Butterfree, which is probably going to wreck James' shit, so let's go ahead and switch out to Scout. As I get a drink of water. Crap. Damn it, Scout. Yep, see, it knows confusion. James Staff Poison, that would have wrecked his shit. Now, if Scout could wake up, that would be lovely. Thank you. Hey, come on, don't confuse me, don't confuse me, don't confuse me. Good. And next up is a Blossom. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Just cut that out. All right, strength it. Use that power. Use the power you have in those tiny arms. Oh God. Solar beam. This is not good. Zuko, handle it. You resist grass. Come on, Zuko, I believe in you. Eat this up. Eat this up, Zuko. Ha! Nothing. A whole 17 damage. Boy, you must feel pretty silly about now. Like, it doesn't matter how you feel now, because now you're dead. Defeat a cool trainer, Sybil. I don't care if it works for you. It's going to work for me. Yeah, I am a good trainer. I'll be the judge if you're good at Pokemon, bro. I know I am. But I'll be the judge if you are. Cool trainer Alan. With a Charmeleon. Oh, you might not be half bad. Also, I should probably get James right the fuck out of here. Alright, Mudskipper, handle it.
Doesn't really do much. Mudskipper was probably already slower than you. That will present an issue, though. Damn. Yep, see, that's already affecting me. Now, thankfully, I ate that up. Oh, come on. One smoke screen, you're missing two surfs in a row? Come on, Mudskipper. Seriously, you're eating up that rage. That was a crit. All right. Can't let this Charmeleon get to you. There you go. See? The Charmeleon didn't have shit on you. Defeated Cool Trader Allen. All right. Oops. I was about to say, are you a trainer? Do I know about the legendary bo uh, bird Pokemon? Which ones are we talk about? Are we talking about the Johto ones or the Kanto ones? Because the answer to both is yes. All right, uh, I was about to switch to Hercules. What? Um, yeah, Scout, I don't think Scout would be able to handle that. Yeah, Mud Skipper. Let's get Mud Skipper to get out here and get a rollout going, and then we'll just take care of this, hopefully, in pretty pretty quick fashion. Crap! Mud Skipper, you are killing me! Seriously, you're eating up all these attacks, but it doesn't mean you can get away with just not hitting a rollout. There you go. There you go, that's what you need to do. Yeah! Should be able to take out this other Pidgeotto quit, uh, quite easily. Damn it! Now if I keep missing rollouts and I have to start over, because you miss one, the whole chain breaks apart. There you go. God, Mudskipper, you are killing me right now, though. Seriously, get your shit together. Anyway, defeated cool, uh, Bird Keeper Vance. I was thinking about those cool trainers. What? Yeah, he's talking about the Kanto ones. Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres are the three legendary bird Pokemon. I heard that there are other legendary birds, though. You know, you are really strong. Uh, no. You are not getting my number. No, I will not reconsider. Because you're kind of a nerd. Right, let me check around for invisible items here. Yep, guess there's nothing. Alright, I'm gonna run back. I'm gonna heal. Because I know what dungeon is next. I'm gonna cut off the episode before I go into that. Because that is a motherfucker. I'm gonna check what else mom bought with my money. Nope. Didn't mean to go to Bill's PC. Then I'm gonna heal my Pokemon and that's where I'm gonna cut it off. All right, Super Potion, that is actually useful. Thank you. That's where we're going to cut it off. Alright, so in the next episode of Pokemon Crystal, we are going to take on the next dungeon separating us from Blackthorn City, which, spoilers, is the Ice Path. So you can see why I wanted to save that for its own episode. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode. I hope you'll join me in the next episode I do of Pokemon Crystal. But until then, take care everyone. I'll see you later.